Alright guys, I'm back. I know I said I was back and I'm sorry that I haven't posted in a while, but life just, life just is a pain in the butt, you know? You have to take care of things before you can actually do what you like, according to school. So, <laughs> while I've been gone, I've actually gone through a few significant changes. Actually, not a few, actually, it's quite a bit of significant changes in my life. One of which is I actually turned 18 years old. That legally makes me an adult, which is a little bit weird considering that I don't feel like an adult yet by any means. I mean, still live with my parents, still haven't gone to college yet, so. The next big change is I actually graduated from high school. Now, high school was fun, high school was cool and all, but like whenever you're a senior and you're really just basically just trying to get out of there. So, I mean, I was kind of just like going through the movements of school, you know, senioritis or whatever, that it actually exists. And we also sold the house that I practically grew up in. We were in that house for 10 years or so, I believe. I, I started there in second grade, so just about a little over 10 years, I think. Finally moved out and now we're in a rental home right now. Next, very, oh my god, are you joking? I can't even talk to the camera. And the last significant change, um, which is actually probably, in my opinion, the most exciting change that not only myself, but my family's experience is that I actually got accepted into and chose the Ohio State University. Now, if you have followed my uh, Instagram, which uh, I mean, you probably should, I'll put it right here or here or somewhere right there, whatever, you should should follow that. Yeah, definitely follow my Instagram, uh, definitely follow my social, it's in the bio. You will definitely get information a little bit faster if I can't put it, if I can't put it on the camera anytime soon. Today, I actually went to the gym. I'm gonna show y'all a little bit of footage of that. And then we're actually gonna go get another significant change done. And that is, I'm going to laser my face off. Hey up YouTube, how you doing? You all right? Oh my god. 60. Huh? It's behind the scenes right here. What's up guys? So since the last time I saw y'all, the gym has been going. <laughs> What's up? Dio, oh my god. Since the last time I saw y'all, uh, y'all probably noticed that like the gym is a little messed up at the moment. Here, look, let me show y'all what's going on. Right now, we're gonna be putting in a trampoline and we're extending the pit out. So like this whole fence area has been here for like the past month or so. So this is gonna turn into a pit. This is gonna turn into a trampoline and we don't have a floor over there because we have to get stuff in. This gym has been a little busy with the progress and just doesn't mean we can use floor or anything, but it's all Gucci, we're thriving, we're surviving. So is Amelia. Okay, so now we're going to be going to high bar. Let me get my high bar grips. So just the other day, I actually caught my first Coleman. I'll put it right here somewhere. So yeah, so I'm starting to step up my high bar game just a little bit. Hopefully we can do some Coleman's, maybe a little bit of Kovacs today for y'all. See, um, see what we can get on camera today. It's a Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> You've already met Seth before, at least I hope, and vlog like two, one. No, it's one, right? Here's Andrew. Babbit. Yeah. Princess just swinging on the pipe right now. And then we have Steven walking up there. Oh! 
Oh! Oh, let's go, Batman. You did it for the vlog, man. Oh, push. Oh, oh. Tight. yeah. Oh. Oh, he you did it for the vlog. Point seven. Oh, that's oh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, another person y'all didn't get to meet, his name is Jerby. He came in a little bit, a little bit late, it's okay. He's uh, he's going to be going to Air Force one day. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with him. He's a little camera shy, I think. Shh. Yeah. Okay, be yourself. Unless you suck, then be somebody else. Okay, there you go. Got some life advice from, from Sam. Vlog. Vlog? Who's vlog? It's like a YouTube, you know? YouTube. <laughs> Actually, I had to take my elbow thing off because it hurt really bad and was cutting off my circulation. <laughs> Whenever you throw a tennis ball, Christian Anthony Bartolini. <laughs> I'm not gonna throw it, you ding it. <laughs> and that is how it's done, ladies and hey, gentlemen. Yeah, you can. Welcome to MTV Cribs, yo. Mm. This is my crib. Let me show y'all what's good. Yo, come here, come here. Let me show you this. This is where I get my premium chalk. Now, everyone's asking where uh, where gymnasts get their motivation from, Safe get their strength from, their endurance. Well, the answer is, is it's in the chalk. This is my premium, Drew. What are you doing? <laughs> Okay, okay. Dude, if Okay, get to work because John's coming. And we back on the tumble track. I want to do some back twisting for y'all. Oh, there's, there's first three vlogs or so I'm sure y'all seen a little bit of my tumble track Milo and I we were talking and we decided to like go back to basics for my back twisting because my back twisting was very I guess it was super shitty. like my feet were coming like they were cross and then I was leaning back a lot now we're going back to the basics just fixing my feet fixing everything um, so yeah
Okay, so today's a Monday, and with Mondays, most of the gymnasts, half of the time, are pretty tired from the weekend. And I know that sounds a little bit strange, because you're supposed to be not doing anything during the weekend, which is true. I mean, most of us, we, we don't really do much during the weekend. The reason why people are not doing too hot today, and like especially myself included, is that now that it's a summer, we have, our workouts are longer during the week. So previously it was just three and a half hours during the week, but then now it is four hours, four hours during the week, and then on some days we'll have two days, which is uh, six hour workouts. The workload is a lot more, so we have another rest day. So rather than just practicing for three and a half hours all the way until Saturday, we grind out everything up until Friday, which Saturday, Sunday is a rest day. It's good for your body and it's good for your, mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's good for your body. I don't know about necessarily your mind, mind muscle memory or muscle or your muscle memory, whatever it is, because your body gets comfortable. It gets comfortable after the second day. Your body's like, okay, hey, you know, I'm chilling. We're not in a stressful mode. We're not doing any of that crazy conditioning, anything crazy. We're not tearing up our hands or just anything that's gonna stress the body, you're just chilling. Problem with that is that when it comes to, whenever it's time to actually wake up and say, hey, it's time to work out again, um, your body and your mind is kind of like in a very lazy state, um, especially your your mind muscle memory. Monday is more like, okay, get your mind, get your body back into it, get back uh, into uh, conditioning and back into just doing gymnastics in general. So today what y'all saw was just us messing around. Um, high bar was a little bit rough. I haven't experienced too many setbacks uh, on high bar really, um, but my taps were just not good today. and. I mean, it's okay. I mean, that that just means that whenever you have a bad day like this or whenever your mind and your body aren't working well together on one specific day, it pretty much exaggerates your flaws um, in your regular gymnastics, which is, it's, it's good to have bad days. So for all the kids and for all the other gymnasts out there who are watching this and maybe you are not just having a bad day but having a bad week, um, just know that it's temporary and it's okay to fail. It's okay to not be good on a specific day, week, or, or month. It's, it's okay. You can only learn from your mistakes and I think that's, it's really key to have days like this. It's a little bit hard up here, but that's just somewhere where you have to strengthen your mind and you have to say, okay, this will pass. I will get into it, I will learn, I will understand, I will get better. As of now, as of me going to Ohio, going to college, I'm still trying to learn that that trait. I'm still working on myself, so. Just thought I would let y'all know. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go get my face lasered off, and uh, yeah, see y'all over there. All right guys, so we're actually on our way to go get my face lasered off. Yeah, so about that, so basically what this is, is um, I've been dealing with uh, like these little dots on my face, it's just like, discoloration I mean whenever you uh, like I would get a pimple or something like that the pimple would go away and um, it would just leave a mark what the laser is is the laser is going to get rid of this discoloration hopefully and just make my skin like flaw. we're on our way right now and mom what do you have to say about me getting my face lasered off it's expensive <laughs> you're not getting your face lasered off I mean I'm, I'm getting my face lasered your face lasered so apparently, it's like little zaps. Isn't it like a tattoo? You're late. <laughs> Twenty-five minutes late. Look at all this. Home pedicure system thoroughly to transfer rough, dry heels and toes in just minutes. A day for soft, beautiful feet. That's gross. <laughs> I was doing super good on this side too, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden it was like I think two, three days ago. I mm -hmm. had like three little breakout right here, mm -hmm. and but one of them's down. But I don't know if like you want to hit those, but I know right here. Yeah, this I will. Is, I'll yeah. hit them all. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think the only time he experienced a lot of the peeling or drying was when he was on that 
other stuff. Yeah. Okay, okay. And that was just not good for him. Okay. Sorry. Do you think, or how many sessions do you think will take to get out really? Typically three to four. Three to four. Uh -huh. um, by tomorrow, the redness should start subsiding and then every day gets better. By day five, you should have an idea of what your uh, results were. Oh, Jesus, I didn't know I was going to be tasked to do this. Okay, look, you're going to have to wear goggles though because of the laser. Okay. <laughs> That's some cool glasses, Mom. Thank you. Is that it? Yep. Oh, um, okay. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Still doing okay? Yeah. I just, yeah. I can kind of tell because they get pretty red, but yeah. and I'll go over some that I think need a little bit more. But yeah, I think that's it. Sweet. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> Yeah, no, that wasn't that bad. I thought it was gonna be, my mom was like, it's like a bunch of rubber bands. Yeah, because she did full face. Oh, so okay. that hurts a lot more. You did good. Cool. Not too bad. It's yeah, so mostly like that. guys get pretty wincy and they're like, oh, I can't do it, you know? Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as red as I thought it would be. But I guess over a couple next few hours it's gonna be. Well, it'll be the reddish right now yeah. and then it'll start lightening up for him. Yeah. Say in a soccer field or something like that, he's gonna have to uh, reapply every two hours. And um, a night or so before your next treatment, mm -hmm. uh, try to discontinue it. Oh, so I got my face lasered off, guys. Let me check it out. Laser. Oh, it's not that red. It's not that red, but I mean, I can... I can tell a difference, like they're not as... Mm -hmm. It's like little bumps. Yeah. Yeah, you might get little welts and that's normal. Yeah, yeah. but Don't... it just looks like I have a bad case of rosacea or oh, whatever it's it called. Does, yeah. yeah. Well, that's right. awesome. Cool, thank you so much. Okay, what's up guys? Um, we are actually back from the laser appointment. Um, so I don't know if y'all can see, but like my face is super irritated and super red. I thought it was actually gonna hurt quite a bit. My mom said it was, but it, it actually didn't feel like much. It felt like those little zap pins, like whenever I was a child, I don't know if any of y'all remember, where it was like a little prank you would touch the pen and would zap your finger. It kind of felt like that on your face, but just like in a very, very small area. Apparently this is supposed to heal in like five days or so, or I, no, 10 days, but I'm supposed to see the benefits in five days. That's gonna be the end of the vlog. Hope y'all enjoyed. I hope y'all enjoyed uh, seeing my face get lasered off. <laughs> so all right so like subscribe hit that notification button um share the video with your friends if you want to share my face getting lasered i guess i don't know why y'all would want to but just share the video just do it it just takes like two seconds um i'll see you on the next one have a good day have a good night have a good evening yeah. peace